Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. This is another video with Docker. So in this video, we are going to show you how to install the Unify controller in a Docker container. Uh, as you know, if you've seen any of my previous videos in the past, I had a Unify controller running in a Ubuntu VM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transition that over to a Docker container. Pretty cool. Uh, not super hard to do, pretty easy to set up. It seems to run pretty good so far. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course for starters, we're going to start by uh, backing up our existing Unify controller. Now if you're doing a new install of Unify controller in Docker and you're not coming from a previous version, you can obviously skip that step. This is for anybody that is transitioning from... Uh, a Unify controller that they already have into a new uh, one here in the Docker container. Uh, once that's done, we need to uh, get our UID and GID, that's a user ID and group ID for the user that we're going to be running uh, the Unify controller with. Once we do that, we are ready to install Unify in a Docker container. Once it's installed and up and running, then we'll be able to restore from that backup that we created earlier. Again, if you're doing a new setup, you don't have to do this step. This was just transitioning from another version of Unify Controller. And lastly, we'll finish any configuration and making sure our access points are accessible and uh, communicating with the Unify Controller. So let's get started. All right, so here we are here in our existing uh, Unify Controller that I currently have running. I'm going to go down here into the settings. Um, in the settings, we'll go down to maintenance. And then there's a section kind of in the middle there that says backup. Uh, you can choose uh, how much you want to back up of your configuration, or if you want just a configuration, or if you want uh, data and statistics and all that as well. I'm just going to go ahead and choose everything. Let's back up the whole deal. And depending on how large or how much data you have stored in there, it may take a little while. It shouldn't take too long. And once that's done, then we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, we got our backup, so let's go ahead and shut down our old uh, Unify controller. All right, so uh, as I said before, we needed to get our user ID and group ID to be able to install uh, this in a Docker container. You do this from the command line just by typing in ID. And as you can see, the first two sections there are UID and GID. That's uh, looks like uh, UID is 501, GID is 20. So make note of those so you can use those in uh, the next step. All right, so we need to create a volume uh, for our Docker container. Uh, so we do that by doing a sudo docker volume create. And I'm going to call mine unify underscore data. All right, so that's set up. Now let's go ahead and create our Docker container. Now this is a pretty lengthy uh, command. Of course, I'll have all this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. But uh, let's see, sudo docker run. I'm gonna put that forward slash in there so I can continue down on the next line. I'm gonna break it out uh, by lines here just to make it a little bit easier to read. Uh, for the name, I'm gonna call it unify. And a new command that I, I'm still learning Docker, so this new command uh, that I didn't add to my previous uh, video was uh, restart on failure. Um, what this will do is if for any reason your Docker container craps out or something like that, it will automatically try and restart. This also works uh, if you have to restart your host machine that is running Docker. Uh, when it comes back up and Docker starts back up, these containers will start back up as well. Uh, dash E 
This is where we're going to list out that uh, GID and UID. So we'll just see PGID equals 20 and dash E PUID equals 501. That's those two IDs that we saved from earlier. Uh, dash P is where we're going to list out a bunch of ports that we need forwarded for this container to work. These are all ports that are used by the Unify controller. So we got uh, 3478 colon 3478. And at 10,001 colon 10,001. Eighty eighty colon eighty eighty. Eighty eighty one colon eighty eighty one. Eight four four three colon eight four four three. Eight eight four three colon eight eight four three. Eighty eight eighty colon eighty eight eighty. And six seven eight nine colon six seven eight nine. Now dash V is where we're going to list out our volumes. So we're going to say unify underscore data colon slash data. And then we need one more for that. We're going to say dash V. Again, we'll say unify underscore data colon slash config. And then lastly, we need to list out where we're going to pull down this unify controller install from. And that is Linux server slash unify. It'll run through its install. It'll probably take it a little bit. I'll kind of fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. All right, so let's move over to Portainer, um, that container that we use to manage all of our Docker containers at. And let's go in to uh, view our containers here. And there is Unify, and it is up and running, so we are good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and restore from our backup. So I'm in the web interface of Unify Controller. Now again, we access this by our host IP address of our Docker system. Uh, and then uh, port 8443 for Unify Controller. We're going to choose Restore from a previous backup. And then now we can choose our backup from uh, the drop down here. Make sure I'm in the right directory. There it is. And say confirm. Close. And it may take a couple minutes for it to complete the uh, restore. All right, so uh, we're back here at the login page. So we'll log in with our old username and password because uh, this is the same, same config as before. It prompts uh, me for uh, changing a uh, authentication for SSH. We'll go ahead and put in a new password there. All right, now as you can see, it shows two inactive um, access points. So we're going to go over to devices. And it's trying, they're trying to get adopted to the system, but they're just having problems. Not a big deal. They'll time out in just a minute. All right, so we can click on adopt. And as you can see down here, it's got the container IP address down here where it says inform. So we're just going to update that with the same IP as our host. 
um, that sh and then put in our username and password since we just changed the uh, password and looks like it got connected we'll do the same thing for this one as well Alright, so now they are both connected. We did the same thing. We uh, had to update that inform URL so they could communicate. Everything seems to be connected again and working properly, running Unify in a Docker container. That is the end of the video, guys. Pretty easy to set up. Not a whole lot that uh, was required to make that work. And we were able to even re, uh, you know, transition from an old Unify setup into a new one inside a Docker container. Uh, let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course for starters, um, we backed up from our existing Unify config. That's certainly optional if you're doing a new install. Uh, once we did that, we uh, I showed you how to get your UID and GID for the user that you will be using to run Unify Controller. Uh, once that was done, we installed Unify in a Docker container. Uh, after we did that, we of course restored from our backup that we had created earlier. And then lastly, we just kind of finished up any configuration uh, setup that we needed to do to make everything work properly. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.